What the Academy gave me was a chance to, to play my stuff and to talk to people from all over the world, from Singapore to, to sort of Sao Paulo. It's what school would be like in heaven for me anyway. Imagine two weeks spent talking about music, making music, listening to music, eating nice food, lectures in the morning. One day you might have, uh, you know, Tony Visconti or some legendary 70s record producer, and then you might have Questlove or like a house DJ. I'm not into this to press to impress anybody. I'm into this for my own heart and soul. Everything at the Academy has been amazing, but I'd have to say the Moody Man lecture was something I was like, I really, really enjoyed it. I was sitting in my chair and just going like, don't cry, don't cry. The man is in front of you, but just don't, you know, don't get overly emotional. I am not the hottest motherfucker DJ in the world. I have no problem telling nobody that. And I'm not going to play the hottest tracks in the world. But what I will do is give you the truth on them turntables. Every evening someone's DJing or playing live and that's a good way to explore the city. One thing that the Academy's not been afraid to do here is experiment with things or bring different people together that you wouldn't normally think of. I'm here at the Roundhouse in a bit of a culture clash, sound clash. Um, Quite a historic event, really. We've got a um, Trojan sound system, we've got Soul to Soul, we've got uh, the Metalheads and DMZ. The Red Bull Music Academy is really special because it puts all these different minds from everywhere, but everyone seems to have the same musical soul, and that's really very special. It's a wonderful hall, the sound is great, uh, the vibes are great, and it seemed like people really enjoyed it. With the all due respect to the other cities that we've been in, a lot of them don't have the sort of music timetable where things are happening Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But in London, we have that every week. And so in a way, it was a real challenge to actually come here and make an impression or make some noise but do it in a very credible way that would be respected by the music community here. And I think that's definitely been achieved. Mm -hmm.